All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to share these lambdas with others or to use this lam these lambdas across multiple workbooks that you might be working on. So I'm going to open up all the lambdas we've built. And notice that when we create a new one, we actually have the option of either storing the lambda in the entire workbook or in the individual worksheets. There is no option to store it globally. Right. So how could we share this? If I open up another file, I'm not going to be able to use um, any of the lambdas. You see, they don't even appear. How can I solve this problem? Well, so there really isn't a good, clean, easy way to do this, but there is a simple hack that we can use. Perhaps down the road, Microsoft will make it possible to sort of easily store this globally. For now, we'll use a simple hack and that hack simply says, if you move any worksheet, if I store all of my lambdas and I have by default, here, let me just open this up. By default, notice that all these lambdas are stored in the entire workbook. That means if I just make this one clean empty sheet, if I make the workbook where all my lambdas are just one clean empty sheet, all I have to do is drop that one clean empty sheet into any workbook that I'm working on or share it with my colleagues and it'll work. So a little bit of a hack, but it gets it done. And I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by that. Obviously, I don't want to move all these sheets because I've done work here. But theoretically, when you build your lambdas, you can keep it a nice clean sheet. I've just hit Alt I W to insert a worksheet here that's clean because all the lambdas that I've built, the scope is the entire workbook. They're in here. So all I need to do is let's move. Let's name this blank blank. You don't need to name it, but just to keep track of where we're going. I'm going to move this to this new file that I this new book that I just opened up book four. I'm going to move it in here. So presumably, let's say I've got other, you know, other work books in here that I've been working on. Maybe I'm working on a giant model I've got lots of tabs. All I got to do is throw this one in here, I can even hide it. And now by virtue of bringing this in here, even when I close out the other file, I'm going to be able to invoke the other um, those lambdas. So right. So here I've got my revenue. And just to show you that it actually does work, here's my you know, growth rate. I will be able to use that uh, G rate in here. Here it appears and I can put in the two arguments. So this is the easiest way to bring in your lambdas into another workbook or any workbook that you've been working on or sharing it with your colleagues.